got the floor. You hear that? Hmm. Here's a message to you, Norman. There's a lot going on in life these days, so don't forget that. There's also a lot going on in your life. I like to take a look at myself by talking to you, talking to me right now. Um, I want to say I'm proud of the steps that are being made with the people that are around me. I'm learning how to work on myself, and it's really neat when there's people around me that have this full unbiased love, and I'm talking about the people that have been in this apartment all day today with me, that helped me get into it, that helped me start the company, that's creating conversations to go a step further with what we are capable of with our voices, and pushing that into legislation. That sounds amazing, Norm. Think about that, dude. You could be running for city council next year. You could really do something with the initiatives that you put in. You have to think about the friends that we have around. Look at who's got holistic views, who wants to continue writing. That's a lot of practice, a lot of leadership. And in order to build skyscrapers, like Elias says, that means that that's a lot of writing to commit to with programs and education that it's in your head. Just write it. The practices on how people can treat each other, that's what they are. you got to write how to do the practice, steps one, two, and three. Sit down a little bit more. Take that in. And something you could take in less is just the world at large. Like, you got it. You know what you want to do. You know how to do it. There's no need to keep overthinking. There's no need to be worried. There's deliberation in my future. It should be a weight off my shoulders. And that way I can hold more weight and make it easy to maintain and grow it. There's a lot of good people around me. I think my lucky stars are my mom, my dad. My lovely family that surrounds me. I can think of so many faces that are coming together. Family that I was born with. Family that chose me. Family that I chose. I really appreciate the acknowledgments from Jerison to my dad my auntie, Miranda, and my sisters, Nick Anthony. The acknowledgement from professionals that even though I'm working outside of the box, per usual, per usual, because I always done that with different jobs. I really appreciate you, Norm. I guess this is a journal log, so it's a vlog? Is that it? Is that real? If I had to give advice to my 16-year-old self, that'd be really hard because one part of me wants to say, do exactly the way you did it. Because at this moment, I feel like I'm on the right steps. And at the same time, I would tell my 16-year-old self to be prepared to do it. To put the initiative in. And that's... a cornerstone of what I learned with Thuma's Lane and what I'm going to produce in the world for an empathetic awareness and sharpening of like what we, how we approach life. Because this is easy. Hanging out with friends is easy. Because I guess we're like-minded people, you know, you attract, your vibe attracts your tribe. And this video is for you, Norm, and for everybody going through anything in their lives to realize whatever it is, they're not alone. There's a lot of overwhelming factors in life without a pandemic and unstable government and family issues or anything that we feel someone else might be able to relate. 
And if we teach people how to relate based on aspects of respect and empathy, and in a sense that we can teach the same style to many people, and people will create better impressions of themselves. And that's pretty exciting because one day we might be able to beat out certain anxieties. Not every single one. I understand the emotional capacity of people. We gotta feel these things in order to sometimes grow. Through pain, there's beauty. You hear that sunny days are appreciated after a little rain? But Bob Marley says you gotta appreciate the rain too, and I rock with that. Amen. And everybody watching Indie Baker 93. Thanks for joining this journey. Catch y'all soon. Peace.